What is up guys? Sorry if I haven't done a video lately. I've been in the process of actually moving to a new place soon. I've been so busy packing, I haven't had time to go to a park, so hopefully that will change soon. But today we're going to do a quick video from home because I've been getting a lot of questions on how to make fast passes at Walt Disney World with the new system, with the groups, with the tiers. It's a complete mess over there with all the different uh, rides, so I don't blame people for asking me that. So I'm going to go explain that to you guys real quick. Alright, so, of course... You need to open up My Disney Experience. Hit. You have to hit the little... Hold on, I'm sorry about that. Alright, so you hit... Get Fast Pass. And then this screen will pop up. You hit Get Fast Pass. And then it's going to say View Fast Pass Option. You hit that. And then it's going to say Checking for Family and Friends. You hit your name. We'll go over to Hollywood Studios first, just so I can show you guys how to do that. My buddy of mine is being very generous enough to let me go into his account since I can't get in right now, just to show you guys the FastPass system. So, anyway, here we go. Gotta get your name selected, hit continue, and then you select a date. Annual pass holders have 30 days, hotel guests have 60 days. So we'll just hit, I don't know, January 29th. It's a little far out, so maybe it's a little bit available. Then you select, out of the four parks, which park you want. So we're going to hit Hollywood Studios. Now for Rise of the Resistance, you have to get to the park an hour at least before the, uh, I'm sorry, before the park opens because you need to get a boarding pass for that attraction since it's a virtual, virtual queue line. Alright, so there are different groups. We're going to explain that. Sorry if my hands give you in the video a little bit. I'm doing this on my own. So group one will be Slinky Dog Dash, Alien Swirling Saucers, Rock and Roller Coaster, Toy Story Mania, Tower of Terror, is Group 1. So you could choose, and I said Slinky, but it's not available. So you could choose any of those that are in Group 1. So we'll select Rock and Roller Coaster for 8.25 a.m. You hit, then you hit Confirm. And now, after you select that one, you hit View Additional Plans. Hit the name again, hit the same date. I forgot what date I even hit. Okay, okay, sorry about that, guys. Alright, 29th. I'm not even going on the 29th because I have no idea when I'll be back into Hollywood Studios again. It's going to be a while. Alright, so now that you made out of Group 1, it'll show... Sorry about that again. It'll show that you cannot select another fast pass out of that group one. Or as they call it, tier one. And then tier two, we have Beauty and the Beast live on stage, Disney Junior Dance Party, Fantasmic, Frozen the First Time in Forever Sing Along, Indiana Jones Epic Stump Spectacular, Star Tours, Voyage of the Little Mermaid, and Muppet Vision 3D, which is closing soon for refurbishment. Which I heard they're going to be getting uh, new curtains, new seats. Don't think they're changing the show. I haven't heard that yet. So then you could select two out of the group two ones. So we'll hit Star Tours for 355, just as an example. Then you hit Continue. And then you hit um, Add Another Experience. And then you hit your name again. Go back to the same date. And then you go back to your Hollywood Studios Park. And then you can select another one. So we'll do Indiana Jones, 2.45 p.m. And then you could hit, it'll show that you made it right up there. And then you hit View My Plans. So it'll pop up January 29th. You have Rock and Roller Coaster, which is at Tier 1. And then you have Indiana Jones, Epic Stunt Spectacular, as your... Because you can pick two fast passes out of group two. If I didn't say that, I'm sorry. You can pick two fast passes out of group two. And Star Tours. Now, at Magic Kingdom, there's no groups you could select as many as you want, up to three fast passes at Magic Kingdom. You could say you could do Space Mountain, Big Thunder, Seven Dwarfs, if that was all available, which I've done it before. It's pretty cool. But that is an option. Epcot is a tier fast pass. So you go to the same thing, view fast pass selection, hit your name, go to Epcot, we'll put 
January 30th. Then you go to the park. Now Epcot Group 1 is... It's oh, not that much you can choose from at Epcot, unfortunately. Alright, so Tier 1, you got Epcot Forever, Frozen, Soaring Around the World, and Test Track, which is not available on that date. So, again, Group Tier 1 at Epcot is Test Track, Epcot Forever, Fireworks Spectacular, Frozen Ever After, Soaring Around the World is all your Fast Passes. And then Group 2, you could do Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival, Figment, Living with the Land, Mission Space, The Seas with Nemo and Friends. I thought Spaceship Earth was Group 1. I guess it's not. I think it used to be. And then um, Turtle Talk with Crush. Now, Animal Kingdom is a little different as well, too. Um, Animal Kingdom Group 1 is... That's going to be kind of tough to find. Let me see if I can get a little bit further. So yeah, sorry if I haven't been doing videos lately. I've been in the process of moving my stuff, getting to, to a new place soon, so hopefully I'll be back at the parks very soon. Hopefully a Sea World trip too. Aha, okay, so Group 1 Fast Passes are Navi River Journey, Flight of Passage, and I believe the Animation Experience? Let me see. February 10th. No. So you could still pick Navi River Journey if you wanted to. So I'm thinking it's just Navi River and Flight of Passage are your tier 1 options at Animal Kingdom and everything else you could choose from. I'm going to try to get Navi River Journey and Flight of, uh, not Flight of Passage, Exp Expedition Everest. <laughs> This is just a good video for me to do right now, especially that I haven't, you know, been able to get to the parts much, and I'm sorry about that again. Okay, so, yep, you could have at Animal Kingdom. I just was able to do, like, the animation experience. Expedition Everest and Navi River. So, yep, that's how the Fast Pass system works at Walt Disney World. I know it's very, very confusing. Hopefully I exp explained it right. I think I covered all the parts. Like I said, Magic Kingdom is open tiers. You can do a bunch of rides over there. Well, your three fast passes. Like I said, you can do Space Mountain, Seven Dwarfs, Big Thunder, if all available. Alright, guys. So, hopefully again soon I will be at a park. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's been a while. I've been so chaotic with, you know, moving my stuff and everything like that. It's going to be really exciting to where I'm going to be moving soon. So, it's still going to be very close to the parks. No worries. I'll still be going a lot. Anyway, hope you guys have a good one, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tips I gave out for FastPass Plus system at Walt Disney World, and I will see you in the next one.